Greetings, everyone. Live Life Well TV host here, Robert Landau, with a very special announcement. Are you ready? We are very proud and honored to announce that for the next number of weeks here on Live Life Well TV, we are going to dedicate a lot of our episodes each and every week to the fine art of the great American television game show. What a history that genre has had. Some amazing game shows have come out of that genre with some amazing hosts. We're going to cover a lot of it. So be sure to tune in to not only this show every week, but other Live Life Well TV shows each and every week because they too are going to cover some aspect of the great American television game show. But for this episode of Crazy Fun Facts, we're going to dedicate to the one, the only, the great American TV game show by the name of Password. So stay tuned. All right, are you ready? So we would like to acknowledge the following website before we begin, tvtropes.org. So, password. Is there anyone in the United States of America, maybe of a certain age, because password didn't go off the air yesterday, but is there anyone who has not seen an episode of Password. What an entertaining show that was. Educational, fun. It had a wonderful sort of flow to it. It was like just kind of riding on air for 30 minutes, if you think about it. Password was created by a guy by the name of Bob Stewart for Mark Goodson, Bill Todman Productions back in 1961. After the company searched for parlor games that could be played for modest stakes in the wake of the great quiz show scandals. That's something we're going to be covering in another episode of Live Life Well TV this week. Stewart suggested a game whose players asked themselves a very simple but amazing question. And here it was. How well can I communicate with just one word? And if you think about it, that was the whole premise and gist of password. So Mr. Stewart had a stroke of genius and password debuted in October of 1961 on CBS as the first game to have celebrity guests as teammates with civilian contestants, which really was a big deal at the time, still kind of is if you think about it. Mr. Alan Ludden left the GE College Bowl to moderate Password, which ran until 1967 on CBS Daytime and Primetime. Uh, I'll give you the guest list, I mean it's endless, uh, a little later in this broadcast. Ludden would return as host of ABC's 1971-75 revival, which went through two theme tunes and two different sets. The changes were made for Password All-Stars, which ran from November of 74 to February of 75, after which members of the public were once again allowed to compete. Really a brilliant idea, if you think about it, because the, the television watcher, you and I, kind of felt we were on the same team, two-person team, as Lucille Ball. It was a brilliant idea. Two more daytime revivals of Password appeared on NBC. Password Plus, which ran from 1979 to 1982, and Super Password from 1984 to 1989. 
Both used password puzzles, wherein each round consisted of five passwords that described another person, place, or thing. These versions also featured a bonus round where the celebrity had to describe 10 passwords beginning with consecutive letters of the alphabet, wow, that's not easy, within 60 seconds for a bonus of at least $5,000. I do remember that actually. In June of 2008, CBS debuted Million Dollar Password for a brief prime time run on Sunday evenings with Regis Philbin as its host. CBS then ordered a second set of episodes, which began airing in January of 2009. The show was canned after only 12 episodes because despite winning its time slot more often than not, it wasn't drawing the demographics that the network wanted. Interestingly, the show returned as a segment on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon on January 18th, 2011, hosted by Steve Higgins. The segment is essentially a simpler version of the later era CBS style. The game show now has words beginning at six points and no lightning round, and there's no stated prizes. Its first celebs to appear there were Fallon and Password Stalwart, the, only, uh, the one and only Betty White. The game was also played during White's 90th birthday. Uh, that edition was hosted by Joel McHale. I love Joel McHale. An edition of Plus with Tom Bergeron hosting was a part of the 2015 Daytime Emmy Awards to introduce Betty White's Lifetime Achievement Award. What a good idea that was. In May of 2016, News surfaced that ABC was interested in potentially reviving the series. This came on the heels of their summer lineup being populated by several game show reboots, including fellow Goodson Todman properties, To Tell the Truth, Match Game, and Returning Celebrity Family Feud, and a reboot of Password's close cousin, The $100,000 pyramid. So we're going to close with just some, and I emphasize some of the stars that appeared on Password throughout the years. Are you ready? I got to take a deep breath for this one. Paul Anka, Jack Parr, Lucille Ball, Carol Burnett, Carol Channing, of course, Betty White, Mitch Miller, James Mason, Jane Fonda, Douglas Fairbanks Jr., Angie Dickinson, Mickey Rooney, Johnny Carson, James Stewart, Ava Gabor, Zsa Zsa Gabor, Lauren Bacall, Joan Crawford, Martin Landau, Robert Landau. Oh, sorry. That must be for another show. Martin Landau, Sammy Davis Jr., Danny Thomas, Peter Lawford, Vivian Vance, Nanette Fabre, Rosemary, Barbara Eden, Joan Collins, Rosemary Clooney, Tony Randall, Frank Gifford, Audrey Meadows, George Hamilton, Ginger Rogers, Jane Powell, there's more, Red Buttons and Bancroft, Gene Kelly, Mel Torme, Woody Allen, Celeste Holm, Robert Goulet, Jack Benny, Agnes Moorhead, Shelley Winters, Jerry Lewis, Bob Newhart, Thomas Jefferson, Ben Fred. Oh, no, sorry, that's again another show. I don't know what's wrong with you. Anyway, we certainly hope you enjoy this episode of Crazy Fun Facts, what a show Password was, and really will always be. That game show, like so many of the others we're going to cover in upcoming series, was truly one of a kind. And this is truly one of a kind, Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host. Thank you so much for tuning in.